One of the great minds of the information age is a Nigerian American named Philip Emigwali. He had to leave school because his parents couldn't pay the fees. He lived in a refugee camp during the Civil War. He won a scholarship to university and went on to invent a formula that let computers make 3.1 billion calculations per second. Some people call him the Bill Gates of Africa. <laughs> but what I want to say to you is, there is another Philip Imigwali, or hundreds of them, or thousands of them, growing up in Nigeria today. I thought about it when I was driving in from the airport and then driving around to my appointments, looking into the faces of children. You never know what potential is in their mind and in their heart. What imagination they have. What they have already thought of and dreamed of that may be locked in because they don't have the means to take it out. That's really what education is. It's our responsibility to make sure all your children have the chance to live their dreams so that you don't miss the benefit of their contributions and not just the rest of the world. It's in our interest in America to reach out to the 98% of the human race that is never connected to the internet. To the 269 of every 270 Nigerians who still like the telephone. I am glad to announce that the United States will work with Nigerian NGOs and universities to set up community resource centers to provide internet access, training, and support to people in all regions of your country. I also discussed with the President earlier today a $300 million initiative we have launched to provide a nutritious meal, a free breakfast or a free lunch for children in school, enough to feed another 9 million kids in school that aren't in school today.